Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. Tonight, a parent in the Rochester Community Schools District says she lost her job because the school board didn't like her criticism, so much so that they, they sent her a cease and desist letter and contacted her employer. Well, it's now the subject of a federal lawsuit. Mar McDonald live tonight at the federal courthouse downtown. Uh, this all centers on social media posts, Mar. It sure does, Devin. This mother of two says that she lost her job as a marketing director for Blake's Hard Cider in Armada after the Rochester School Board contacted her employer and complained about her critical social media posts. Let me show you. When and whether to offer in-person instruction has been an emotional topic in districts around the metro. Parent groups have formed online to talk it out. Rochester Community Schools is no different. The topic has seen vigorous debate and a failed attempt to recall several board members. Elena Dinverno, a mom of two, was vocal online about her desire to see her children return to face-to-face. -to -face. My client was nothing but polite and respectful online. She was expressing her opinion. The school board did not see it that way. According to Denverno, they sent her a cease and desist letter. This district is so, I'll call them thin-skinned, um, uh, inability to follow the law, that they are literally hiring lawyers at the taxpayer's expense to send cease and desist letters, not just to my client, but to others. And according to a federal lawsuit filed today, board president Kristen Bull contacted Blake's Hard Cider, where Denverno was employed as a marketing director, to complain about her social media posts. We do know that she was told that they did get a call, her employer did get a call uh, from a board member. So that we do know, and we know the termination followed thereafter. Um, we also know other parents' employers, we believe, have been contacted as well. Back here live, we reached out to the Rochester Community Schools District tonight. Our inquiry was not immediately returned. However, a school spokeswoman told the Detroit News they have not yet been served with the lawsuit. We're live downtown tonight at the federal courthouse. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah. All right, Mara.